That mojo ain't no good. Oh boy, I was, I'm sorry, I was just sitting there thinking <laughs> that this is a topic perfect for the More Mojo podcast. Adults think about sex eight times a day on average. According I, to who? I thought it would be more. <laughs> a survey of 2,000 adults, and they were asked the question about how many times a day would they say that sex is on their mind? And they found that the average person speaks about making love in one way or another at least five times a day while thinking about sex at least eight times a day. So they actually will verbalize it five times, but think about it at least eight times. So three more times. Who are you talking to? Two about having sex five times a day. He's like frat boys <laughs> talking to each like other. Like the thinking about it eight times, maybe like that's understandable to me. But I agree, the the speaking about it five times seems like a lot, right? You think so? Yeah, I'd be worried about somebody if like one of my coworkers was constantly mentioning it every day. Is that like five texts while you're sexting your significant other? Because like, right, if that's an average, you know, and and you you're sexting your partner one day a week, and you go back and forth for a little bit. And I guess divided by seven on average five. Okay, fine. But who's talking a sig- five times a, a day? significant portion of these responders? 65% said that they comfortably share their sex lives with others. 29% said that they were very com- uh, comfortable swapping personal stories with coworkers or friends that aren't in that relationship. Uh-huh. So they're uh, they're sharing their uh, their sex lives uh-huh. and what's going on in their uh, their sex lives. I mean, do you guys share about your sex life aside from like what we share on the air, but with your friends? Well, I, yeah, I think that I share more on the air than I do with my friends. Uh, really? Yes. I, I, I mean, I think because that's the nature of what our show is all about. You know, I mean, we are very vulnerable on our show, but also we find that when we talk about sex, people seem to like to listen, <laughs> even if it's us talking about sex. Uh, you would think that that would kind of gross people out. But. Am I just not having enough sex to have five things to say about it a day? <laughs> I think that you'd be surprised at how often that you talk about sex and you just don't realize it. Yeah. I mean, think about this. You In our show on a daily basis, just in conversation, we probably double that. You I know, feel like with we have sexual to take that out of innuendo. It. Yeah, we take that out of it. Yeah. But if, but if we're worked in an office place with just regular people, we would yeah. have conversations. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. You, mm-hmm. So you think? Why do you think that that's a low figure? I think that's ex- or a high figure. I think that's actually a low figure. I am very like my friends and I are very open with each other, so it's not like I'm uncomfortable talking about it. But it is not a daily occurrence for me to talk to someone about my sex life. Right? And and I, like when all the this, girls get together, it's always a, a topic. Of yeah. Conversation, or like if always. I happen to like have hooked up with someone yeah. the day before and I'm telling my friend about it, okay. But like, I. I just feel like I, I don't have that much to say. Does this only take into account like you talking about your own personal sex life or talking about like like even like celebrities? No, or, you're talking about sex in general. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. So it yeah. includes everything. It includes yeah, everything. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's exactly. five times a day. Then. I still think it's high. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to sit here with a clicker all day and think about it. I think people use sexual innuendo uh, a lot and things that they're talking about, you know? Mm-hmm. That's what she said, if you know what I mean, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, if we're counting that stuff. Yeah. Oh. It's this. Oh, Ross, Ross and uh, Chandler talking about sex. Women Wasn't this an episode on one of those? Did you know friends? that? <laughs> yeah. No, Chandler. Everything, like stuff you like, stuff she likes, technique, stamina, girth. Girth. <laughs> why? 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 Why would they do this? <laughs> Rachel says sharing's great, and supposedly, you know, we ought to be doing it. Do uh, you want to? By the way, you could listen to this and think that they're going to have sex with each other. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. You go first. Okay. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. So, uh, the other night, Rachel and I are in bed talking about fantasies. 
and I happened to describe a particular Star Wars thing. Princess Leia in the gold bikini. Yes! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, do you have uh, friends that you share the most with as far as your sex life is concerned? Well, it's funny oh, you yeah. say this because whenever the guys get together to play cards, it's inevitably after a few drinks, the guys loosen up and start talking, much like Shannon said the girls do. There is one guy constantly through the whole night brags about his sex life, talks about in great detail, way more than we want to hear. That, hey, that guy is not getting laid. And that's my sentence. Yeah. No. I'm, con- I'm convinced. <laughs> He is not having sex. The, the, he's so trying to convince us he's this, this incredible lover that I'm just pretty sure he's never had the sex. Why do you think that guys do that? And it's guys. It's not girls. Yeah. yeah it's definitely dudes do that. They're overcompensating. I, I want to be like, dude, you don't have to do that. We're good. We're cool. Yeah. Do, do, uh, would you say that there is somebody that you would talk about sex with more than, than others? Like, a, like, do you have a friend that you share with? Shannon, sounds like your friends uh, yeah. get oh, together. I, Do you have a friend that you share it, with more? They're uh, not necessarily a friend, just groups of friends. I mean, especially being in a new relationship and the majority of my friends have been married for a long time. So they are like hungry for stories about sex <laughs> in a new relationship. Do you tell them about sex with Wes? Uh, I do. Yeah. Like I share pretty much everything. Really? Yeah. So wow. like every morning after they know that I've been with him, they it's I get the same text from somebody in that group. Is your vagina broken or is it still intact? <laughs> Do uh, uh, you ever tell him that that's the case so that he at least knows? He knows. He does? Yeah. And how does he feel about you sharing He's with him? He's got to make sure he breaks her vagina. Though, um, he, I think at first he was taken aback to know that I share so much or that like that group of girls share so much, but now he's just- See, kind of used to it i disagree with uh what ellen uh said just a second ago i think women share more than guys do and i think that women i didn't say men you, well share you said more. men said you said men, men overcompensate lie about but men lie i think wi- i think women also are big fat liars too in what way well i think that women try to overcompensate for how great the uh the sex is sometimes when because they don't want their their boyfriend or husband or whoever to look like, you know, they're not sexually satisfying them. See, I think that's your man perspective on it because it's like very well known that women don't even like have orgasms every time they have sex, mm-hmm. you know? So it's not weird to talk to your friends about mm-hmm. it, it being like, eh, like, I think guys would never want to admit that the sex wasn't good. But, yeah. mm-hmm. but right. so you- That was actually a huge topic of discussion with my friends recently mm-hmm. is like, I mean, I don't think that's a secret to anybody on this show. Like, I always had a really hard time having an orgasm. I didn't have my first orgasm until, like, I mean, in the in the span of my sex life, more recent than not. Wow. And, like, so that was a topic of conversation of, like, things that all of the girls do during sex to help them have an orgasm. Oh, if, interesting. Yeah. But do and you, no shame. Like, there was no shame in that conversation whatsoever. Do you share if you're with a partner that uh, that doesn't have sex or doesn't want to have sex or... Like, like I think that I've talked about it on the show. The guys that don't want to have sex. Yeah, I, I've talked about getting turned down for a booty call before. I think. Yeah, but do you share that? Do you share that on the show, like we said, that's different than calling your friends up and saying, "Guys, let me tell you about this guy." I think I say less on the show than I do yeah. to my friends. Yeah, yeah for sure. Really? Oh for sure. yeah. Well, you have to keep some privacy, well, especially that, if you're currently with that person. That's the hardest part is when we're actively dating somebody that we're. Maybe not being satisfied with. You can't say that on the air. No, and I needed to process it before I bring it up on the show anyway. Like, I need to gauge a reaction (laughs) before I talk about it. No, I think girls are... I'm not saying girls don't lie ever, so don't get me wrong. But I think that it's much more normalized for women to, like, struggle with their sex lives than it is for dudes. And I think for dudes, it's like a... Yeah, and talk about it. My dick is bigger than yours contest, so Mm -hmm. it's like a, you know? Do women lie about their guy's dick? Like, do they not want to be with a small dick? So when a friend says to them, how big is his dick? Do you say it's a small dick or a big dick? Or are you honest on that? Why would we lie about I have a feeling they're dick? brutally honest. Because I don't think that I don't think anybody wants to be with a small dick. No, so, it literally doesn't matter. It really doesn't. But I understand that. But I think that the, the, women don't want, like, you're going to protect the guy that you're with by saying his dick is great dick. I don't you know, think like, I know like a single hear, girl, though, who gets off by a dick. But I like it. It literally could not, especially matter. by its size. I hear. Right. I, are you saying more? It's it's just he's either good or he's not good. 
Like you're not. You no, know. it is. It's other body parts that I you hear, are more yeah. reliant on. Right, right. But I've heard. I've heard so many times where a woman would say, "How it's the greatest dick I've ever been with." And realistically, is it the greatest dick that you've ever been with, or is his dick just average? Is it just a regular dick? Because you'll hear these sometimes women overinflate their guy's dick, and I don't. I think no woman wants to say. You know, my guy's got a small dick, but it takes care of me. I think like maybe, you don't hear that. I think maybe women only do that to the guy whose yep. dick they're having. That's a hundred percent true. <laughs> I've only ever defended a dude's dick if another dude was calling it out. I've never once to my girlfriend's been like, "Oh my god, you won't believe the size you. of his dick." But <laughs> tell you. but I I want to know: Will you say to a guy? Will you say to your friends, "My guy's dick is really small, but it's small and it takes care of me"? Would you say that? I mean, or, okay, or so I will, say? I will say this in th- the same group of girls that I'm talking about. There was a conversation that was had on a recent trip where where everybody was admitting if their current partner was the best sex they've ever had. And everybody was super honest. I was really surprised that some of the girls said no. How many of the women said no? Two. Really? Out of the five that were there? Mm-hmm. Two out of five. And I'm not telling you which girl's trip it was because I went on two. And, and do, <laughs> I'm trying do, to be somewhat protective of their privacy. Do their I'm not guys kidding. know that they're bad? Absolutely not. They're not bad. That that wasn't what was said. What did they, they say? They were not the best they have ever been with. Really? Mm-hmm. And why don't they tell their guy to make them better, like what they, well, the they, other person did that you, made it better? You could tell a guy anything you wanted to help him, but that doesn't mean that it's going to... Wait, wait, wait. Mojo, ask... Ask that question again and think about that. Would you want any woman you were ever with to say, I've been with men better than you yes. to get you better? I've this asked is Chelsea. He did. I've asked Chelsea. Chelsea you don't is want to be compared to another no. dude, though. I have, listen, it, we ask our boss for uh, checks, air checks on our show that to, is to li- tell us. the least <laughs> similar comparison I've ever heard anyone make. Well, you, you may think that that's not the case. I've been one person that always has wanted to know if something is wrong. But if something's rather, wrong, I will fix I it. I want to know something's wrong. I don't want her to say, hey, listen, you you just are nowhere near how my ex-husband used uh, yeah, to get me go. off. Can you try what he used to do? Maybe you'll have more luck. You but, could say something like, I really like when, when you do yeah. this. Right. Or, but yeah. ask that question. If you ask that question, uh, like those women that were on that girls trip, Shannon, uh-huh. if they were saying, hey, we were talking about this and this came up and, you know, we were talking and, you know, I would like you to try this because this is, I don't think, I've done this I don't, before in my past. Oh, well, well, if you leave out that part. I think if you said we were talking about this, let's try this and leave out the part of like, I've done this in my past and I really love it. See, I don't care if I, it's in the past. It's not, I, I as just long saying as the past I wouldn't say that part. As, as long well, as the past wasn't last week. But there's a, <laughs> you know? I was going to say, I'm, I'm single. So if someone's saying the past, it could be last week. And that's too much for me. Yeah. And, and there's a big difference in how you frame it. Because what you just said, what, there's a big difference in saying their name and, and giving a timeline. If... My girlfriend tells me this. I really like it when, if you do this. I know she. Know, I know why she likes it because she obviously did that before and liked it. I know there's a past, right? But if you say like my ex husband and or you know like um, like I got it last month, then I know that's different. Now you're bringing up something ver- I don't want to hear about. See, I think that if you have a problem with that, you don't have confidence in who you are, and I think that every like I know I'm not the greatest sex that any woman has ever had. Right. But I know I'm willing to try. Oh, I'm willing and, to try, well, yeah, but I'll but, do anything but saying, to effort. I'll do anything to please her, but what you said was not constructive. The girls who said he, the person I'm with is not the current best lover, yeah. you don't go tell them but, that and say, my last guy but, was better. But it's obvious that these women are, are not completely satisfied with their guys. If they're saying, no, he's not the best lover ever, why not make him the best lover? You're, you're the reason why he's not the best lover because you're not telling him what you want him to do to be the best lover. From my perspective as a, a girl, yeah, I would be totally down if it, a guy said something about what he really liked or I want to try this or I want to do whatever. But if you say my ex-girlfriend was better at this or I liked mm-hmm. when my ex-girlfriend did this, I will... I, I will never stop thinking about the fact that you're thinking about how much better your ex was when I'm in bed with you. I will never... If you're comparing me directly to another girl... In bed, the next time we're in bed, I'm going to be so self conscious about you thinking See, about her instead. I mm-hmm. like to, I like to actually. You don't want her. You don't want Chelsea to say another dude's name. Well, I in the past, Chelsea and I have had conversations, and I will tell you this. I'm going to say this. We treat it like American Idol. We like to get have the sex and what? then go through the panel and ask the panel <laughs> what they think 
of uh, of our performance. You two have also not had sex with other people in 25 years, so that changes well, the I'm gonna, dynamic. Of I'm gonna, but I'm going to tell you this though: sex gets mundane and boring, and we have had the conversation of, um, you know, eh, that was just okay, like that that you know that was or or that was just to satisfy you, and not to satisfy me. And nobody like I I believe this. As years have gone on, sex is sex. Just to satisfy me is unsatisfying sex, and I've had that conversation with Chelsea. I think that's a healthy conversation. Where I've I said, "Listen, I want to see you satisfied. That makes me even more satisfied." You know. I agree with what you're saying about feedback and criticism and being able to speak very openly about what you want and don't want. I just don't want you to tell me my ex girlfriend gave better head than right. you. Then right. I will never will. Uh, as long as do it's it done in a constructive way. <laughs> and constructively say that. Yeah. There's no. There's way. ways. There's you're definitely no way. top ten. There's you're, definitely ways. You're not the worst I've had. Right. There you go. Um, all right. Uh, th- that's been the More Mojo podcast for today. This is our after show podcast. Stuff we obviously cannot talk about on the radio, or the way that we talk. Uh, but uh, listen to our radio show weekday mornings, and you can get that too on the iHeartRadio app.